guys, Katrina here, does that really? Welcome back to my channel. It's pretty unsafe to carry a handbag on the back of your chair in case uh, people try and steal things. And I've had this try almost happened to me before, so I no longer carry bags on the back of my chair at all. So instead I carry my stuff in two bags that are underneath my chair. And I will show you them now. In today's video I decided to show you some of the items that I carry around with me every day in my wheelchair and my wheelchair bags. If you have Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome yourself, including its many uh, friends uh, such as doctor's motility or other illnesses that are related to EDS or even if you have another condition you will know that you have to carry a lot of medical equipment as well with you every single day um, and that's as well as the normal everyday items. This is my under seat bag. It came with the wheelchair. Now it's broken as you can see the zip is busted. I have ordered a new one because uh, I eventually saved up enough money to buy it. 60 quid for this. I find a cheaper one but it should fit. But they can fairly get the arm in for the specialist disability stuff so, which is really unfair I think anyway. But it clips off like this. There's two plastic clips underneath the seat of my wheelchair. If you can see against my hand there. Yeah. Cuts off like this. Unfortunately, when I was ordering my wheelchair, the bags didn't come in any different colours. But the one that I'm getting in the next few days is pink, so it's a lot better looking than this old thing. I have personalised it myself by adding a few key rings. That's a like a calendar thing. And I just put my finger through the key ring and pull it open. In this front pocket I keep my mobile phone and that's on a wallet of its own. It's a Samsung S10 Plus so it, it fits in here just nicely. No more really. And then in the back pocket I keep my purse or pocketbook as it's called in the states and inside that I keep my life saving medical ID card or cards and my hospital card as well which is seriously important when I was in hospital with my meningitis scar this thing saved my life and it's as well that I had it with me I did have a bracelet but it snapped off oh, and I lost it somewhere as you can see here underneath my wheelchair there is another bag and it's just uh, fastened on to the wheelchair with straps at the bottom if you can see here it's uh, fastened to the frame of the wheelchair uh, I've ordered a new one because this one's looking a bit teared out and plus it's too small anyway uh, but inside this I keep all my medical equipment uh, my medical supply company give me this sort of makeup bag to put all my equipment in which I use every day and I'll let you see what's inside this now as you know from one of my other videos uh, for which I will link up, up the top of your screen now I can still never remember the side it comes up on uh, I have to catheterize four times a day uh, this means I have to carry a sterilization kit as well which is in the back of what I'm about to show you Basically, if I don't sterilize before I go to the, use the catheter, I could get a very serious infection. So I have to be super, super careful. Sorry about cutting my head off here, but uh, the dog's wandering about in here, so he probably stick his nose in somewhere. Inside this bag is my medical equipment, as I mentioned before, and it opens out like this and there's a little hook on one end if you can see where my finger is yep, there you go 
so you can use it to hang up on the bar in the disabled toilet. In this bag I keep a packet of disposal bags which are essential a few uh, catheterized like I do. And then my medical supply company uh, provides me with uh, hospital strength uh, anti to hear young hand gel. Uh, that's for use before and after uh, washing your hands. And then I bought this little compact that I use for myself as well, but it's also essential for self catheterization because it's very difficult to do it without a mirror. And then inside the big pocket. I keep some uh, spare catheters. Now I've changed my brand from my, my old video, but they're basically the same thing. Uh, and then I keep some pads in there and some uh, tampons as well. Another benefit of having your valuables in the bag underneath your wheelchair means that I am the only person who can reach this. Here, if my bag was on the back of my wheelchair, then it would be available to any boy, and I could possibly get stuff stolen or picked back of it, which isn't nice. Plus, if your bag is too heavy, it can cause your chair to tip, which can be dangerous. My chair is quite tippy, as you can see, but. I need it to be this heavy, so it can be adjusted any further for me, although that may be different for other people. And plus my chair doesn't have any handles on it, so it would be impossible to hang stuff on it even if I wanted to. I do have a hospital bag as well, so I maybe possibly in the future I might do a video on it. Uh, what I keep in it. That's for emergencies. Um, basically because um, it's the hospital to have different equipment for me and they always find it useful if you bring your own stuff as well. Although you do have to hand, hand it into them. And plus them silly that when nighty things don't fit me anyway. I'm six feet. So then make me look like I'm wearing a mini skirt with no back on it, which is really hilarious. So I always prefer to bring my own PJs. I have ordered some bigger bags for my chair, but they're on the way. They were supposed to come today, but typical royal mail and didn't arrive, so they'll probably come tomorrow or Thursday. So anyway. I might do a review on my other channel uh, when the new bags come. So if you want to check my other channel, please click on the like button on your screen now or in the description. If you like this video or you find it useful, please give me a like, which is thumbs up, and then comment and click subscribe by hitting any of the buttons below. And if you're new, please remember to hit the notification bell as YouTube does not notify you when I upload a video unless you hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.